Hi, hello, I'm Michael, and I would like to show you um, and to tell you about the game Dice Brewing, um, the game from Board and Dice uh, Publisher. Uh, it's the game um, for two to four players, and it lasts around one hour. Um, what you see here is a prototype. Uh, I will just show you the um, how to play in the game. What are the components? Um, publisher assure me that. Uh, components would be the same as uh, shown here but the quality of course would be much much more better so basically I would just want to, to show you what are the components and how to play uh, the newest game from Board and Dice, Dice Brewing what you see here is the first uh, page of the instruction uh, for, of, the, of the game and now I just uh, show you what, what we do here and, and how we play uh, basically, the game is about making beers, being a um, beer crafter, and what you want to uh, to get here, what you fight for, is uh, victory points, or we can say it's a uh, uh, mastery points, uh, and you want to be the best beer crafter from all the all the players. The game itself is from two to four players, depending on the uh, on on um, the number of the players. Uh, we're gonna play shorter or longer version. The more players, the longer version we're gonna play. What we get uh, in the box and uh, what are these components? Uh, dice Brewing is a dice game and we get lots of dice. Uh, what we see here is uh, uh, four types of dice that represents um, light malt, dark malt, uh, hop, and our skills, brewery brew, skills. Um, so we have yellow, black, um, green, and blue dice. Uh, dices. We also have 30 cards with uh, beer recipes. Uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, basically, we have the, num the name and the um, visuality of, of the beer. Here we have what we need to to um, to make this beer, to make this recipe. Uh, on the bot uh, on the top left corner we have the price, what we get when we when we um, make the beer. In this case we have uh, three uh, three points, uh, three victory points. And in the bottom we have uh, what we can add to the um, to the beer. To get something uh, more than only the reward of making the recipe, so we can make, take money or more points. So these cards are 30. We see only some of them, two, uh, three, or four. Uh, then we get also lots of tokens. We have tokens of black market and tokens of special ingredients. This is a uh, special ingredients. Uh, market we gonna have possibility to buy uh, something more than only dice we can buy apples um, honey uh, and other stuff to make our beer better for example here if we make this recipe oh I just show you like this and we add some spices we're gonna make more points than only by uh, doing this recipe so these are the tokens for special ingredients and these are the action tokens. Action tokens are tokens that we can use during the game to change the, um, the change some rules or to make an inter uh, interaction with other players. Uh, here you have the price, so two, three, four gold uh, coins and uh, very important in the beginning we, uh, we don't um, we can't buy anything. We can start to buy special ingredients from round two and special tokens, action tokens from round three. We buy it with the coins, and we have uh, three different different types of the coins. So we have one, and on the other side is two gold coins, three and four, on the other side and six and five. So uh, the money here is double sided. Uh, we also get, uh, all the players get um, their own player boards 
and they play boards are um, buildings uh, or uh, something connected with the beer. Uh, so our player board shows the um, victory points track around it and four different buildings. We have a uh, malt building when we make something with the malt so we can grow a, a malt, we can change light malt into the dark malt or we can uh, make better quality malt by adding a, a number on the dice. Uh, then we have a hop plantation when we can grow a hop or a hop dice or we can make the hop better. Then we have a uh, master school with the mm, beer crafters uh, uh, skills uh, in which we can use uh, our skills to re-roll uh, dice of, uh, of, uh, from our, mm, from our mm, hand or we can uh, roll the dice from the, mm, the pile uh, from general supplies uh, or we can get another dice so we are like getting skill and we have more blue dices and then we have um, the seed department and from in the seed department we can get new seeds seeds are mm, very important to get new dice here uh, so we can uh, throw away a hop and get the seed or throw away a black mark to get two seeds or we can uh, sell blue or black dice which means our skill or um, um, light malt, uh, sorry dark uh, malt uh, for money. So basically this is the our, uh, our uh, player board. These two buildings are open from the, we can use it from the beginning of the game then from the second round we can use also uh, school and uh, the seed department from the third uh, fir third round. We play uh, as many rounds as we need to to complete the game. So we play until uh, in two players two player game. We have uh, all together make ten different beers uh, in three player game fifteen or in a four player game uh, twenty different uh, beer recipes. Uh, what, how do we play the game? We start, oh, one more thing, uh, we also get the storehouse um, uh, card when we put uh, our dice. We start with a um, coin and a seed and one dice of each color, then we throw dices and this is our active, uh, active uh, uh, dices and we can do something about it. So basically what we do we play a round. A round is um, four phases. The first phase is a throw and then placing the, um, uh, the dice or the dice and the seeds. Uh, what we can do we can place two dice on our player board. We can place a seed and a dice or we can place two seats. Uh, why it's uh, important? Uh, because if we play in two player games or uh, once someone use, uh, uses a, a building and a special activity the second player cannot use this in that round. In a three player game when two guys, uh, two players makes the, um, the action, the third one cannot do it. That's why we had uh, we have this closed uh, token to put it on the player board that I, can, I cannot do that action anymore. Uh, the actions are, as you can, sh as you can see, uh, all the actions are easy. Yeah? You can grow a, a, a dice from a, from a seed, change a number and stuff and, 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 and some other stuff. But what is very important? On the player board you can see there is an arrow, straight arrow and like an arc arrow. Uh, if we have straight arrow it means that we can uh, boost our uh, action by using the uh, blue um, dice. So if I put a seed here and I want to have a light malt 
immediately I need to put also blue dice here and boost a, a special action and then immediately I get a new dice, I throw it and I have more dice. So basically the first phase is uh, distributing our uh, dice and seeds on player boards. We do it un 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 until uh, all the players say pass and then we get to the uh, second uh, second phase which is uh, which is uh, buying stuff. When we buy stuff we can buy either special ingredients or special uh, tokens uh, and we when we finish uh, special uh, buying stuff this is like the last moment to put all the uh, needed for needed uh, dices in uh, storehouse why this is the active pool active pool if i don't put uh, my dice to the storehouse every round in the beginning i will just throw the dice uh, in my active pool if i put the, put them to the warehouse I just secure them so I don't lose, for example, good numbers on my dice. Or uh, yes, this is the basically the, the 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 thing. Or I need these dice to make a, a recipe with the beer because I can only uh, craft a beer if I from by using the dices from uh, from the warehouse. So. In the first phase and the second phase, so when I when I do the um, uh, placing or when I do uh, shopping, this is the moment where I put my dices to the warehouse. After that, all that uh, dices that are not placed here, not placed here, are not gonna be used. And in the uh, beginning of the next round, I'm just gonna throw them again, re-roll re 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 them. The third phase is crafting the beer from the starting player what we do what we have to do is let's say I have uh, I have something like that or right, like that and there's a card like here what I can do I need to show that in the warehouse I have at least uh, two of the green four of the uh, yellow and one of the black dice if I show that I have then I get this recipe I get the bonus which is money, five gold coins. I can add special ingredient to the to, to get more points or more money. For making this um, this recipe, I get one point. For each uh, recipe, you get one point plus the points you get from the uh, top left corner. So when these uh, dices are Put here, so they are not now active um, uh, active dice, and then other players can can uh, craft a beer and get some points. We finish that when no one uh, can uh, craft a beer or just say pass, and when we have the cleanup uh, phase. In the cleanup phase, we get uh, everything from the buildings. If we don't do it immediately, so for example, if I don't boost. Uh, my seat. Now I get the yellow dice. Now I move, for example, my I change my, my yellow dice to black dice, and so and so and so. Um, and we give the first player token to the next player. Very important. This token is two-sided. It's winter and uh, uh, spring. When it's winter, we nothing happen. When it's uh, the spring every player from in the beginning get one seat so when we start it's always spring then it's winter spring winter and spring winter and as and so on so i'll just uh, briefly tell you what the action tokens and how we use the uh, action tokens what they do and how we use it there are uh, action tokens about that one uh, give you a po uh, opportunity to uh, add a number to your dice you can use it once, then it's out of the game, and this dice in this round, in this round, is uh, has a higher number. That one gives you a possibility to re-roll any dice, your dice, your opponent's dice, any dice in any moment. 
That one blocks a recipe. If you put this token on a recipe, no one gets it. Uh, and no one can uh, beer, uh, craft this beer. That one blocks a building. Uh, so if I put that on a building, no one can use, uh, no one. That player cannot use in that round uh, that building. Uh, that one uh, gives you a possibility to uh, pull out a dice from warehouse, and it doesn't mean uh, it doesn't mm, storehouse. Sorry, it doesn't mean uh, your storehouse. You can do it to your to your uh, opponent. So bas so basically, this is like very negative interaction. Let's say that someone needs uh, black dice and has only one in a storehouse, and you just use this token and. And take it out so he cannot uh, craft a beer. Then we have a protection or block it. Uh, when we use it, this token as a protection we put it underneath our uh, dice and no one can do anything about it in this round. If we, uh, if we put it underneath someone else's uh, dice he cannot use it in the round. And there are, this is the six, um, uh, six special actions tokens. There are only three of them, and very important, if you use them, they go uh, out of the game, so you can you only use them three times each uh, in each game. Basically, I told you everything about the game. Uh, most, uh, I think, 95% of the, uh, of the uh, instruction how to play the game. The game is Dice Brewing, where uh, the name of the, of the game, from Board and Dice, uh, the newest game from this uh, publisher. I hope you enjoyed the, the video and uh, you can check out uh, Board and Dice uh, site to, to see uh, how the real components, uh, final components look like uh, or, and see uh, any other news from, from the guys. Uh, thank you for watching and listening to me and see you probably next time.